Are you needy or are your needs not being met? Are you clingy or is your partner making you feel insecure? Do you crave too much reassurance or are you not receiving enough love? Are you dramatic or are you with someone who can't communicate their feelings? Are you asking too much or is too little being offered to you? Are you too sensitive or is your emotional experience not being validated? Are you overly upset or is your partner emotionally avoidant? Are you crazy or are you being gaslit? Are you too demanding or are your standards not being respected? Are you being selfish or are your boundaries consistently crossed? Are you too possessive or is your partner too detached? Are you paranoid or are trust issues not being addressed properly? The idea behind these questions is to help you think about the balance between your own stuff and what's going on with your partner in the relationship. My guess, you're probably taking on more blame than you need to. The other day I was thinking about this issue, I was thinking about this and it reminded me of a story of a friend of mine. I did ask for permission. This is something that happened to a friend of mine, right? So she was going on dates with this guy, getting to know each other in order to have a committed and a healthy relationship, right? But then, one time she comes to me, she's like, am I clingy? From what I know, she's not the clingy type. I was like, what happened? Explain to me what happened. No, baby girl was just asking for the bare minimum. But because he couldn't do that, he made her feel like there was something wrong with her. He made her feel like she was just clingy and insecure. And I was just like, oh. I was like, because he couldn't meet her needs, he couldn't do the bare minimum, he turned things around and made it feel like she was the problem. He made it feel like there was something wrong with her. Well, he gaslighted her. That's what TikTok people would say. He gaslighted her into thinking that she was the problem. She was just saying, listen, sir, if you are trying to be serious about this thing, why am I begging you? For communication i have never seen anywhere where people who are in a healthy relationship on people who are who like each other who are pursuing a relationship having to beg each other to talk to each other or or replying the other person after seven business days there is something wrong with that only to find out that this guy he wanted a situation ship instead of a committed relationship he wanted to benefit everything that a committed relationship offers without the responsibility of the whole thing so he wanted to push for a situation ship when she was like no i'm not gonna do that you are not gonna just enjoy the benefits of a relationship without committing to me he was offended one of his biggest problems is that he did not stay what he wanted from the beginning. If he wanted a fling, if he wanted a situation ship, he should have said so from the beginning instead of acting as if he wanted a fully committed relationship when he didn't want it and then ended, ended up pushing somebody into something that she didn't want. Ended up trying to push for a situation ship when that was never the case from the beginning. And that's when the clingy thing also came in, that she went clingy and said, Kawa. And I'm like, no, sir, you are the problem. It's you. You are the problem. You are not going to turn around and make her seem like she's the problem. Where am I going with this? I was just thinking about all of this and I was thinking about my own life. That's how I, I, I arrived at this. I was like, oh. Every single time when I was when I was insecure in my relationships, I exhibited behaviors that somebody would call clingy in a healthy way. I wanted constant communication. I wanted I wanted to always hear from you because why? Because I was insecure because there was no security in the relationship because my needs were not met. So I constantly had to beg. I constantly have to chase and run after this person. Why? Because my needs were not met. Are you clingy? Are you insecure? Or are your needs just not met? If you were secure in that relationship, you would not be chasing after that person. You would not be begging people. You would not be clinging so hard to somebody who is not interested there is no security at all now coming back to my friend but when i was asking for permission to talk about her story she she elaborated more that now that she is in a healthy and committed relationship she can see that what she was asking back then 
it wasn't fantasy but because that guy was not interested in in doing all of that in doing the bare minimum he made her feel like what she was asking was a lot what she was asking was a fairy tale and that she was asking a lot from guys that makes her unlovable oh the audacity of this man mr man if you didn't want your relationship why didn't you just say so and leave this girl alone instead of making her feel like asking for the bare minimum as her asking a lot a lot we just want a lot from guys nobody would ever love you like that can you not do that just wanted us to think about the fact that you know what you know what it is good sometimes it is good to look at yourself and think am i the problem sometimes you're not the problem sometimes as somebody else running away from their own responsibility is somebody else is somebody else not admitting their own faults that now they're pinning things on you making you feel like you're the problem when you're not even asking for a lot do you still remember what was said at the end of our tiktok clip the clip that I included at the beginning of this video. Really, the idea behind these questions is to help you think about the balance between your own stuff and what's going on with your partner in the relationship. My guess, you're probably taking on more blame than you need to. Don't listen to those people who make you feel like you are unlovable, who make you feel like there's something wrong with you, who make you feel like that nobody will never love you because you're asking for a lot. I have met somebody like that. I met somebody like, now that I think about it, I met somebody like that where I was just stating my preference that I don't like, I don't want one, two, three, four. And I was not even begging him. I was not even asking him to be that person. And he thought it was so funny. He thought it was so funny that I'll never ever, ever find somebody like that. I'll never ever find somebody who would agree or have the same values that I do. I thought it was, it was ridiculous. There's nothing new under the sun, baby. If there's something that I don't like, there's somebody else out there who doesn't like the same thing. There's somebody out there who has the same values as I do. There's nothing new under the sun. I don't really believe it. I don't believe it. But somebody who can't meet your needs is the one who ends up making you feel like you're asking for a lot when you're asking for when you when you know for sure that you are asking for the bare minimum and somebody makes you feel like you are asking for the world let them go let them go let them go let them go there's somebody else who would do whatever you want whatever you are asking without you even having to beg for them they will do it because they also have the same values as you they also are mutually interested in you don't be gaslighted into thinking that you're the problem when you're not the problem. We are all about working on ourselves here, but there will be times where people will be projecting their own issues onto you. Now you have to catch catch that and descend. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos. Bye! <laughs> Bye. <laughs>